In a letter directed to the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and the U.S. Aid Administrator Samantha Power, the congressmen and women have also requested the administration to provide Sri Lanka with additional swift action as meaningful support to the Sri Lankan people in their time of need. Pointing out that the newly appointed President Vikramasinghe announced a state of emergency, placed the nation under curfew, denounced the protest and even suggested the use of live ammunition in quelling them. The congressmen have requested the U.S. State Department to continue to use all diplomatic means available to ensure the Sri Lankan government protects the rights of suffering citizens to peacefully protest and does not utilize violence against peaceful demonstrators and journalists. The statement urges to fully incorporate measures supporting the stabilization of Sri Lanka. The measures include advancing efforts to address long-standing issues related to accountability and reconciliation and improving democratic institutions in Sri Lanka to meet the U.S. foreign policy goals of the region. The letter also urges the U.S. aid to take immediate action to provide relief to the Sri Lankan people, including increased food, medical and fuel aid. The letter highlights that US aid provide 11.75 million US dollars in new humanitarian and development assistance at the end of June, adding quote unquote, more is clearly needed now.